The Beaverton Portraits of Canadiosity. Margaret Atwood. Known for her darkly satirical style and prodigious output, Margaret Atwood is one of Canada's most famous writers. But did you know that she spent the first several years of her life completely unable to read? Eventually, Atwood outgrew her illiteracy and attended Leaside High School in Toronto, where she was struck by lightning while holding a magic eight ball, thus giving her the gift and curse of prophecy. Sadly, Atwood soon discovered that nobody would heed her dire warnings regarding climate change, women's rights, and something called monkey Geddon. So, Atwood decided to use her Cassandra-itis to make some serious bank off our terrible destiny. Atwood began writing best-selling novels, all ripped from actual future headlines that she had been forced to observe. Works like The Year of the Flood, about future climate change events, The Handmaid's Tale, which details the rollback of women's rights by conservative governments, and of course, Monkey Geddon 2, The Chimpening, which is about the Second Ape War. Even Atwood's non-science fiction work is taken from the successes and tragedies of ordinary future people. Ever feel a connection to one of her characters? That's because you probably are that character. Atwood is also advised that her upcoming novel, titled Who Cares, is blank, because thanks to certain events, nobody will be around to read it. Besides the monkeys, which famously hate feminist literature anyway. Yes, Margaret Atwood is truly a great Canadian. Just don't ask her when you're going to die. She hates that. This has been a Beaverton portrait of Canadiosity. Uh -huh.